the Bitcoin has had no shortage of enemies over the years. We have institutions like the WEF, the FATF, the BIS, the IMF, and of course the SEC. But now we have the world's largest company who has come out and now is attacking Bitcoin. So of course, we're talking about Apple, meaning that Tim Cook has joined other billionaires like Jack Dorsey and Elon Musk who are currently battling it out to control free speech and digital payments in the digital age. So in case you missed the news this week, Apple has its knickers in a knot because of this one application called Damas, which is actually on the Apple App Store. And it enables people to use the Bitcoin integrated social media platform called Nosta. And if you're new here, I know what you're probably thinking. What the hell is a Nosta? What the hell is a Damas? I'm going to explain exactly what those two very complicated terms mean today. But I want to first show you what Damas is and show you how Nosta works. It is very similar to Twitter. You can like a post, you can retweet a post. And if I like one of Jack Dorsey's posts or what he's doing for free speech in the digital age, I can zap him some sats. So as you can see, as soon as you hit on that button, it takes you straight to the wallet that you choose to link up to your Nostra profile, and you can instantly press confirm and send the other person sats. And Damas is also really cool. As you can see, you can upload images to Damas now. When I first began using it, you couldn't even upload images. It was very rudimentary, but the innovation is exploding quickly. So if I wanted to zap somebody because they had a cool image, normally when I used to be able to use the Damas application, I used to be able to just hit this button here and zap someone instantly. So now what I have to do if I want to actually send Preston some sats for a cool chart that he posts is I simply need to go to his profile and press on that little zap amount there and you can see that then that takes you instantly to your wallet there used to be a lot less friction involved with this process but as you can see it still works relatively flawlessly now that's pretty cool but i want to show you how one of these payments work in person and show you how instantly you can send sats to somebody on the other side of the world irrespective of where they are or who they are and you can even do it anonymously i'm gonna actually get my girlfriend in here to do a live demonstration Hey, Pam, can you get in here for a minute? Okay, so this is my Salvadorian girlfriend, Pam. Say hi to everyone, Pam. Hola. And now, believe it or not, she actually does use Nostra more than myself. Okay, so I'm actually going to zap Pam some Satoshis live on video for you guys, just so you can see just how quick this process is. So again, this works just like Twitter, and it's nearly instantly. So hold up your phone to the camera, babe, so everybody can see what you're doing. So I would simply just search Pam's name. I would go to her profile. I click on this little zap button. I would send her a thousand Satoshis, but she cooked a little bit of a steak last night. That was a little bit overcooked. So I'm actually only going to send her 420 sats. I'm going to hit on the zap button. Now I'm going to show you how quick this is. So I'm going to hit on the send button and look at how Ooh, quickly that was actually very fast. Yeah. So Nosta is revolutionary. As you can see, lightning is instant. Okay. And it is taking the world by storm. Say, say goodbye to everyone, babe. Bye. All right, well, she's on out of here. I'm going to finish this video off and tell you the story about what happens next in the fight for free speech in the digital age. Let's get into this. So as we can see from this tweet, Damas were told that they were going to be removed from the App Store by June 27th because they enable people to actually sell digital content. That was Apple's words. After a two-week-long battle, Damas was actually allowed to stay on the App Store as long as it removed that tipping feature on the post itself. So as we showed earlier, you can still actually go to somebody's profile and send them some Satoshis. And I think Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, actually put it really nicely. Apple was threatened because for the first time in history, you have the ability to tip somebody from anywhere around the world without the need of government permission a credit card or a bank who sits as a predatory intermediary sitting in the middle of all of our financial transactions. Now, it certainly wouldn't surprise me if a government institution or a big bank tapped Apple on the shoulder and forced their hand. And the timing of that decision was also very interesting because this was all happening just days before uh, the founder of Damas was scheduled to speak at the Oslo Freedom Forum. And I don't think it's the biggest surprise that Apple has come out and attacked Nostra for another a couple of reasons we're going to discuss later on into today's video because Nostra has absolutely exploded onto the scene. They've grown to like 29 million different accounts now and I believe there's been over three million dollars worth of Bitcoin actually sent on the platform in transactions and it was so popular 
that Robert F. Kennedy, who of course is running for president in the United States, actually came out and announced he would be the first president to begin accepting Bitcoin for his campaign in his 2024 presidential election. This was enormous. And when he joined his account over on Nosta, the internet or well, the Bitcoin internet side of things actually blew up with excitement and buzz, especially given just how convicted he has been in a couple of the speeches he has given about Bitcoin in recent weeks and months. And of course, RFK isn't the only big name or influential figure who has thrown massive amounts of support behind Nosta. Former Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey has avidly supported Nosta. He's even given out massive grants and funding to some of the developers over there on Nosta uh, because he was obviously trying to increase integrate Bitcoin into Twitter. So as we can see, uh, Twitter tips kind of got off the ground there for a little while until Elon Musk took over of CEO over on Twitter. And we all know what happened next. We started seeing Dogecoin memes everywhere and Dogecoin talk about it being integrated into Twitter and Bitcoin integration into the uh, one of the world's most popular social media platforms has sadly stalled for now. So it really does speak volumes when you actually look at the bio of Jack Dorsey over on Twitter, the former CEO. All he has in his bio is simply Bitcoin and his Nosta public key. Pretty wild scenes to see that. Sometimes they say that a picture can paint a thousand words. But it's interesting because this is not the first time that Apple has actually tried to attack an emerging technology that is using its Apple App Store. At the end of 2022, there's a lot of controversy swirling around the wider crypto space because Apple was trying to take a 30% cut of any purchases that were made of NFTs that were sold on applications on the Apple App Store, okay? So again, this is just indicative of the wider, broader trend. The legacy brands and the legacy institutions that have a monopoly on everything, whether that be the speech or the money or the education or the food, they all are trying to push back against these decentralized alternatives. But as you're seeing, decentralized alternatives are always going to win. Okay, Dharmas is only one client of the Nostra protocol. So again, let's Let's actually talk about what Nostra is. We talked a lot about the events of the week, but Nostra actually stands for notes and other things transmitted by relays. And this is the really important thing. There are many different relays and there are many different clients for you to actually use the Nostra protocol. Okay. If Apple, for example, completely kicked Dharmas off the app store, wouldn't affect Nostra at all. Somebody would just use a different client. You have other clients like Amethyst, Nostros, Iris, Snort. They have some pretty funny names, but there's lots of different clients that you can still use to actually access Nostar. That's the really cool thing. All of your data is actually transmitted by lots of different relays. So if one relay tries to kick you off because they don't like what you're doing, well, your data is still hosted on all of these other relays that are transmitting all of your notes, okay? It's very different to Twitter where one gatekeeper could just say, hey, I hate what that Luke Mickich is saying on Twitter. We're going to pull the plug and we're going to permanently ban him from the platform forever. That is what can happen. All of my data, all of my posts on Twitter can be completely evaporated. I can lose all of the connections I have on there. And that is very different to Nostra. And Nostra is giving you a peep into the future because it's not just going to be like a Twitter alternative. You're already watching a Substack alternative. And I think you're going to see alternatives like YouTube built on top a Nostar where there's going to be no censorship. So I am very, very, very bullish on Nostar. I think its growth is very indicative of people waking up to the world and wanting a better decentralized world. And Nostar is just one piece of that. Bitcoin is another piece of that. That's why we're watching the world's billionaires currently race to actually accumulate some Bitcoin despite calling it Ponzi's or tulips over the prior years. Okay, did you know that eight banks in America who control over 28 trillion trillion dollars of capital just recently flipped bullish on Bitcoin after BlackRock's ETF. If you want to learn a little bit more about the billionaire race for Bitcoin that is going on today and why it could potentially be an attack on Bitcoin, you can check out the video I recorded on that topic right there. And if you want to learn a little bit more about why decentralized technology is changing the world, I moved to El Salvador in 2022 and I lived there for one year. If you want to learn more about my experience, I recorded a video on that one and you can find that one right there. And with all that said, I'll see you on the next video.